the bell first one for me. We hope you had an awesome Christmas, as we did. I um, hope you got lots of nice goodies and presents. If you did get a wormery for Christmas and you're looking for, for some advice, then please don't hesitate to contact us. We are new to worm farming, but we've built up a, a, a lot of knowledge already, haven't we? Yes. Brilliant. We do have uh, another member of the team missing today. Um, Oliver decided not to um, be in today's video. He just chose not to be really. For Christmas, we got a 4K camera and we'll be testing. Um, our 4K camera and our old camera. We haven't checked on our worms for a couple of days due to the Christmas break and my working schedule and my wife's working schedule. Um, we've been very busy, so we'll just have a quick look, check on the worms. Um, we pretty much got them well fed last time round. Um, but this time, um, I don't think that the worms with the cold weather seem to do slow down. Although it's Christmas here, it is quite cold, not as cold as some of our followers who have reported sort of like winter conditions and they've had to winterize their wormeries, especially the outdoor ones. This is the worm bin that we're testing the um, compostable um, Nespresso pods. As you can see, nothing whatsoever has happened to these pods. Nothing. They've not even got weaker or or softer they've not gone they've not done anything and they've been in here over a month the worms are avoiding them like the plague um maybe it needs to be generating heat which a wormery doesn't do a wormery doesn't generate any heat so maybe we'll have to try that but we've also got one soaking in water um, and that's done nothing either so i'm not really impressed with them apart from that harry how's it looking it's good is there lots of worms in there yes Yep, nice big juicy worms. I don't think this one needs feeding, there's still a lot of food in there. Okay, right, put it back on. This is the Nespresso pod that we've had soaking in water for a month, and it's not even disintegrated at all in water. We've had this in hot water, cold water, lukewarm water. I've broken it just to see whether that helps or not, and it's, it's somewhat fibrous, but it's not breaking down it's not breaking down like this one here seems very very mouldy in there Harry the worms seem okay in there but and when I lifted the lid up it felt really wet yeah I think it's the first sign of cocoons in a while. Lots of cocoons in this one actually, which maybe we've just missed this one. Um, I think we need to put some paper in this one, Harry. Yeah. Some. Yeah. If you just sprinkle some paper on the top, Harry. Yeah. The worms are doing fine. Right. Sprinkles and paper on the top, Harry. This is the one with a banana leaf. There's actually signs that the worms have been on top of here now, which we haven't seen in a while. We thought they were avoiding it. Oh, wow. Look at that, Harry. Most of them, all the worms, are like hiding under, but this one they're all eating on the top. Yeah, this is a really, really good bin. This is a really awesome bin, Harry. Yeah. Do you know what I think? I think we should just leave this one. There's food there, they seem healthy enough. I just Doesn't think we should... look like it need any paper like nope. the last nope. one. Wait, just put the lid back on that one. Here's one again, the worms are on the top, feeding nicely. Piece of apple there. Yep, worms are doing very well in this one. No signs of 
baby worms in this one? Or cocoons. There's one there. What, a cocoon? Yeah. Cool. Oh, there's a... There's a cocoon there, if anyone wanted to know what a worm cocoon looks like. They start off yellow and they get darker as the worm pops out. Where's he gone? Very brilliant, Harry. Right, just lid, lid back on that one, I think, too. This one has no cardboard on the top. Oh, this one has Nespresso pods in it too, and again, nothing happening with them. This one's as hard as it was when we first put it in there. Ah, first sign that worms are anywhere near it. See that? Worms actually on the Nespresso pod. Maybe it is just a case of just leave it and hope for the best. Right. There might be lots of worms on top of it. Maybe when we're not mm. checking on them. Yeah. This one has really, really good worm castings and loads of healthy worms. Awesome. Oh, there's a cocoon right in the middle of that. Okay. Right. I don't think that needs anything. So what we do with our toilet roll. We cut them up, stick them in a tube, and the worms love it. Climb inside it. Awesome. Great. We've got some more of them to add later on. That's the last. If you like our videos, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button. Bye!